and uh, working alongside some of the Tamil villagers. What I want to introduce is uh, electric rickshaws because um, I think there are a lot of elderly who in the evening would like to go different places even during the day and then if you have electric rickshaws then it becomes easier for them to mm -hmm. uh, use it instead of taxis. So well the plan for the city itself is to have a, a tram kind of a solar tram or electric tram. So when you put all the fertilizers in it, in a way you kill the life in the soil. And the life in the soil, that means the soil is full of microorganisms, and earthworms and other uh, 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 worms. And all are very important uh, uh, f for any kind of, of plantation or crop growing. from Jakova. I'm 15 years old. I am volunteer in uh, this program, Short Room Music Foundation. She is my sister. And I'm Jeridona. I'm 17 years old. I was born in Jakova where life's most difficult lessons were learned. I was so scared because I was so young and I remember when uh, they um, stole my father I remember something that really I, I always keep in my mind. When we went out the gar of our garden, we we heard at all before that we heard some noises and I, we saw the house burn, burning, and we we all my me and my sisters said that we want to go back and die with them because we didn't we don't need life without them. But my mom hold up our hands and just keep walking. My name is Nita Bitsure. I am from Kosovo and the city where I live is Jakova and I am 20 years old. We had to live in one house with 37 people and that with all of my cousins and uh, we had a basement where we would go and hide most of the time whenever we heard bombing or anything that was going on outside. We didn't leave the house. Everything that we had to eat was just stuff that we just bought and we put it all together and shared with everyone. We didn't see much because we couldn't go out because if, if service were find out that we were there, they would come and kill us too, just like they did with, uh, with everyone. What did I see? Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. Spring has brought me such a nice surprise. Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. 
Serbians got really mad and they started killing people. And they would go and knock on the door and that's like the same night as when the bombing happened. Um, they would go in my neighbor, they would go like and knock on the door because the police that were ki the, the guy that was killing them, he knew all their names because he was a you know like a, he worked for uh, um, for mail mailing something you know like and he 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 would know everything so he went in the houses and he would knock on the door and say you know the name and as soon as they opened the door he would shoot them and kill them like right you know right away that was like a nightmare for me. If you go back to the breakup of the former Yugoslavia, you know, I think there was a lot of speculation. A lot of well-meaning people really believed that, you know, after 40 or 50 years of being forced to live together, that probably a lot of that old hatred had passed away. And you would think, well, you know, once the dictator who was keeping all this under his thumb uh, leaves the scene, things probably won't be too bad. All those people were wrong. Once the situation starts to break down and you realize, I'm now going to be living in a country that's dominated by another majority ethnic group, not mine, that creates a lot of fear.